Smooth Scan Omar in the building. Dub Muscles in the building. Spiritual Chain Omar in the building. Chain Big Bro got Omar in the building. God! In the cut. Davey and Omar in the cut, man. I'm back with another video. Oh! Man, first of all, the food my mom made, that shit stink. I'm eating that. I don't know, my, my, my taste buds and my senses is changing rapidly. You know what I'm saying? But we got some lamb chops right here. Y'all see it, bro. Get up close on that. We got some lamb chops right here, and we got some sweet potatoes. We about to make these into some sweet potato fries, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. We not about to do no extra, extra noriary yapping. We about to get right into it, bro, because I just got back from the gym, and I'm hungry. So let's go, I'm gonna move y'all over here. All right. Fudge cake. That shit. See? That's why I don't like using, that's why I don't like using this weak-ass phone holder. I'm about to make me mad. All right, so we good now. All right. So, let's get started. These packages look all cool and shit. They be, they be putting them in, but it be all funny games until you can't open these motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? There we go. Got these things sealed tight in this mug. All right. Got the seasons prepared and stuff. First thing you want to do, try to lower this as much as I can without the shit falling. This weak ass little phone holder thing. You want to separate the pieces? Just wash them off. You know what I'm saying? Just wash them off real good. You got some lemon and lime juice. Slap it with that. You know what I'm saying? Each piece, make sure you wash it off good. Use cold water. Don't make that mistake I just made with the hot water. You don't want it to start cooking yet. So use cold water. Yeah, yeah. Wash it off a little bit. Some people tell you they don't gotta wash it off, which is true. You don't gotta wash it off. But me, I wanna be extra careful. You know what I'm saying? Me, I'm a very active person. Getting sick, it's not an option for me, bro. So hit that with lemon and lime, lime juice. You know what I'm saying? If you got real lemons, it's even better. You know what I'm saying? Get both sides of each piece. You know what I'm saying? So they can detox anything. That lamb had that was bad. They get that up out of there right quick. You feel me? So come on, let's go to the side. Uh, your boy got a, I got a lemon right here. I don't know if you got any lime juice, but I got a lemon right here. Man, this lemon about hard as a motherfucker. You want to cut it down, just squeeze it. It's how hard this bitch is. G lemon of death. There's some lime on there. Ugh. Flip sides. Same thing. Hit it real heavy with that. Be honest with y'all. Y'all can already have. I'm gonna lead up a little bit more so y'all can see me. Y'all should already have this preheated. So whatever pan you're using, go ahead and preheat that. When it get hot enough, your choice of oil. Obviously, I know I'm going coconut. A coconut, not coconut, but uh. Avocado oil or coconut oil all the way. That's what I'm using. So go ahead, get your oil ready. Don't put it in the pan yet. Don't put it in the pan yet. Have it ready for when that get hot. So we're gonna come back over here to season it. You know what I'm saying? Get back here, get a good angle for y'all. See me season it. Right here. So you just go with the seasons your choice. We got black pepper, we got a couple of these. I'm not, I'm not gonna use all these, probably not. Use the ones that I really want to use. Where my Creole's at? You know what I'm saying? Use my hot right there. Salt and pepper, garlic and herb seasoning. Uh, I don't need no seasoned salt because I'm just doing salt and pepper again. Probably put some garlic powder on there. All right, come on, let's go. So when you season it, y'all, y'all gotta pat it in the meat. That's what y'all doing wrong. Y'all not, y'all not seasoning it right. Y'all wonder why y'all can't taste nothing. It's because y'all just, look, y'all just seasoning it right there. And you're not patting it in. Y'all gotta pat that in. You know what I'm saying? So pat it in tough. That's what I do to my burgers. I, I don't know if y'all watched that burger video. I'll pop it up on the screen right now. Go watch that burger big video, recent burger video, and y'all see that Omar did the same thing. It's very important. 
I got a pack of seasons in there. Well, we're gonna season all sides. And we're gonna, you know what I'm saying? See how I just flipped that over? The season is still on there. Cause that's what y'all supposed to be doing. Pack the season in there. Why y'all uh putting the season on there so you don't wanna so you ain't gotta put shit low season in just so you can taste it. All you do is just put a little bit and you can still taste it. You know what I'm saying? Got the Creoles right here, salt and pepper. Got the spicy, more spicy Creoles. And do the same thing to both sides, y'all. Don't be goofies. Don't just season one side. Nigga, I'm done! No. You gotta season both sides, my guy. Season both sides. You ain't gotta season. Don't worry about the ends. You know what I'm saying? Keep the keep the fat flavoring. The fat flavor flavoring. Cause that's what's gonna make it hit. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm using with the seasoning. I'll come back to y'all. We gotta throw them on there, alright? That's what I'm using right here for these. I ain't forget, I ain't gonna fetch y'all. I'm gonna show y'all every season that I'm using. You know what I'm saying? This more, this one more chunky, this is good. So just pat that on top. Use the chunky, use the chunkiest season last, bro. Best tip. Use the chunkiest season last. You gonna thank me later. Because if you use that first, boy, it's gonna fall off while you putting all them other seasons on. Get up close on them lamb chops, boy. Y'all see them things? Them things looking fire, boy. All right, so this is what we gonna do. I know y'all barely can see me. I ain't gonna put my head down low no more. I'm gonna put this oil in here. And the shit about to get cracking. There it go. Well, y'all wanna see the food, right? So I'll cut you up. Put it down right there. So use your choice of oil. You can always add more later. So I just add a shit load right now. But I thought these on there get cracking. Gonna flip those every minute, minute and a half just to see what they look like. I ain't never cooked nail chops before. First time for Omar, but you know we're gonna get cracking. So let's get over here to these sweet potatoes. Let's get these sweet potatoes cracking. So what you wanna do is wash these off, right? Wash your sweet potatoes off. What you wanna do is cut these, cut these ends off. You don't need these ends. Back it up for y'all so I can see it. Bring it down. Same knife. Okay. Cut the end off. Both ends. You're not going to need an inch to cut it off. Come on, get out of my kitchen. Isabella. Then you gonna skin these, y'all. We're gonna do these differently. I'm about to go ahead and put these lambs real quick. I would, I would use the wooden spoon. My mom were using that for the food she had made for everybody. So we're gonna go ahead and just use the, the spatula that came with the pan we're using. So we won't mess it up. Let me show y'all the crisp on these things real quick. Let me get up close on the crisp on these things. They look crazy right here. Let me go ahead and show y'all. Y'all see the crispiness on this thing right here, bro? So you just gonna keep on flipping these until you know they done, man. If you black, man, you know what's up done. And me, you like everything well done. See, I know my chops from me well done. So let's go ahead and just keep on, keep an eye on these. You don't know how fast I'm chops to cook. First time cooking them. Come on, brother. Come on, G. Come on, G. Let me explain it, my G. Oh, I ain't see those. Y'all ain't see these. Um, that's what I was asking. You're about to see those little videos. Hey, bro. I can't. I can't explain nothing. I, I don't want to hear that. 
So, so, what's it called? Keep flipping them because we don't know how fast these cook. And then, yeah. About to go ahead and skin these potatoes real quick. All right, so get the skinner. Right here. You got one. If you ain't got one, you got to use a knife. So if you use a knife, bro, be careful. Man. Don't cut your finger. Don't cut your finger off. All type of goofy stuff. So, get a skinner. I usually get a grocery bag, so that's what I'm about to do. I might get a grocery bag, so I put them in a the grocery bag and throw them away. Throw so they let the skin away. So get a grocery bag, just put it just like this. Y'all can run the water, it's your choice. Me, I really don't care, I already washed them up, so we just go ahead and skin them. Just fully skin both of them. All you need is two, just for some fries. For some sweet potato fries, just skin two. You ain't gotta skin four, five, 25. Y'all be doing extra stuff. I ain't gotta do all that, man. Just skin two potatoes and then you should be good, bro. All right, well, you got two clean bald heads like these. I'm gonna show y'all how to cut them up right. Then they're gonna go in the air fryer. For about like, we gonna see. I'm gonna show y'all everything. Just in case somebody wanna replicate this meal. So what y'all do with the bag of skins? Bro, throw it away. We not doing anything with this. So throw them skins away, man. I'm about to flip the uh, chops again. Quick. Well done, Doc. Well done. Alright, so for this next part, if you don't have any bigger knives, try your best not to hurt yourself. I prefer a bigger knife because now we about to cut these, cut these into french fries, all right? So I prefer knives like this, or you could have like a, a straighter knife, you know, however you do it. Don't get the Chucky knife, you need a Michael Myers knife, bro. So get the Michael Myers. All right, so now we about to just cut these smooth up. So how I do it, we already cut the ends, so don't worry about the ends. So just cut the side off, get a big chunk off the side, right? On both sides. Don't throw these away. You can still use those as fries, bro. Remember, you don't want to- Am I tripping? Bro, did somebody just try to throw something behind me? Look exactly behind me, bro. Somebody, did somebody try to hit me? Waste nothing for real. Ease is a lot more tougher. Ugh. So be careful, man. Don't try to rush it. Just try your best to cut it. See? Just cut up as many columns you want. Depends on how many fries you want. I know some people want them gourmet, you know, them uh, luxury long fries. Like they probably want like 20 fries. Or you can just cut them up tiny and get like uh, like 50 potatoes, you know, individual sticks. However you like it, bro. like that then cut these straight forward my best trick is get a bowl with cold water all right cold why i don't know it's just my purpose get a bowl of cold water just get a bowl of fresh water i you want to put it to be cold or hot it's up to you but i get cold i do cold i do cold water so cold water just sit it right there in the sink don't do nothing to it leave it right there so what you want to do you want to come back over to the fries boom chop them up so now you're cutting these into fries. And what you're gonna do instead of letting them just sit there on the cutting board, throw the fries you just cut up in the fresh water. I see my face. They all done cut up. About to move over there by the air fryer. I'm um, about to show y'all how to make these french fries in the air fryer. Come on. Hey, the chop's been on for like a couple seconds now. Not seconds, but a couple minutes, probably like five, seven minutes. About to, uh, about to cut open and see what yeah. it looks like. 
So, I'm about to cut open, see what it look like, see if they done, or see if they need to cook a little more. So, like I said, first time cooking them, I ain't taking no risk. I know when food's done. Them chops is done. So that means we gotta hurry up with the process. Get these uh, fries done. Man. So right here, one thing I ain't show you over there by the sink, but I'm about to tell y'all right now, as clear as possible. So when y'all do this, the tip to make the best air fryers in the fries, air fryer fries, you know, you making them in the air fryer, whatever, right? You gonna, remember when I told y'all to put the, the fries in the water, right? So what you gonna do, you gonna pour out half of the water, probably like 75% of the water, leave 25% in there. You gonna put that, the rest of that water in the air fryer. And then along with the oil you're using and the seasonings, if you're using seasoning, and that's how you, that's the, that's the trick to make the best air fryer fries. A lot of people don't know that. So let's go ahead. See, this right here is good. So what you do is just dump them in there. How you do, how you do anything else that you're cooking in the air fryer. Just toss them in there, right? Use your oil. You already know you only use avocado oil or coconut oil around here. I don't, I don't use nothing else when I'm cooking. So right here, go ahead, spray it out the best way you can, mix them up, you know what I'm saying? If you wanna make sweet, sweet, uh, sweet, sweet potato fries, like cinnamon, you want all that in there, go ahead and throw that on there. If you wanna make spicy ones, put the spicy stuff in there, if, if you want the spicy stuff in there, you know what I'm saying? Put a dog, throw a bella in there. She's the air natural too. So, what we're gonna do is you're gonna put we just gonna put salt and pepper, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't. Or we just—they got the garlic little mix over here. Might just see what's up with this. See, it's salt free too. So let's go ahead. We're gonna throw a little bit of salt in there just cause, just cause, just because it's salt free. So about to do that. Mix it up. I'm gonna show y'all what it look like before we throw it in there. I'm gonna show y'all before or after these. Uh, two got two waters right there, man. No, the cold ones. Hold on. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah. All right. Let me show y'all these. Oh, I just dropped the whole ring light thing right here. Can't see them everywhere. It's because these things, man, they don't stay still. Oh, I can't tighten these. Okay. So I'm about to start tightening that. Because every time I take it apart, everything go back skinny. So this is what it looks like right here. We're going to throw a little salt in there. Like a tiny bit of salt in there. Nothing crazy. Just so it can uh, have some type of flavoring. Mix it up. All right, let me show y'all how to cook these, man. A lot of people don't know how to cook these. It's very simple, bro. Just, you just gotta know what you're doing. And I cook fries in the air fryer a million times. So 400 is cool, but you gotta remember the higher the degrees is in there, bro, the Fahrenheit degrees, whatever you wanna call it, you have to lower the temperature. You gotta lower the timer. Cause you gotta remember this stuff cook quick. Air fryer, it cooks mad fast, so. I said 12 for the video, but it's really 20 minutes. 20 minutes to just keep on checking it. Where it's at, cause you don't want to burn them. You don't want them overly dry. So that's how you do it. So just keep checking on them. I say every two, three minutes. So you do got to stay down here. You can't go up there and play the video game. You can't get on the phone with your boyfriend, females. Watch the fries, you know what I'm saying? Lamb chops is already done. So, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna just let it, let it stay hot in the pan until the fries get done. I'm gonna catch y'all when everything done. What do I do? Meanwhile, everything I missed up. Y'all see this, the counter dirty. We got some dishes in there. So what I do, meanwhile, I clean. So just straighten up clean. Or if you just super good at cleaning and cooking at the same time, unlike me, 
go ahead and do your thing. Just chill out, watch some TV, do whatever, you feel me? <laughs> Right here, I decided, why not? I was throwing in the lamb chop oil, you know what I'm saying? Just so I could get a better texture, a better taste. Things like that, so let's go sit in here, quiet like for a little momentarily, you feel me? Then, we all done, we got that fishing plate over there. But yeah, we all done. Back to y'all to try it. Got the lime, man, well, the lemon. I spray that across there. Spray on top. Aesthetic reasons ain't nothing, no real reason at all. Yeah, grab a fork. It's time to eat. All right, we back, but we're gonna keep the camera up. So we're gonna show you the plate. Right here. We got the chops. We got the, let's go ahead and do it. Go actually use a knife, you know what I'm saying? Feeling look. Omar can't cut for shit, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm left handed. There we go. Okay. This is what the chop look like. Big ass bite into that. Well, turn up. Yo, the chops is banging, bro. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Fries. Excuse me, banger. Everything banger. Shit, we're going to get this. Eight out of ten lamb chops. Lamb. Oh, Gone. Roll to four, honey. We're roll to a thousand. Peace. Lamb chops was juicy, seasoned well enough, had a consistent flavor. Yeah, man. I did good for my first time making lambs. Y'all let me know what else y'all want me to do in the comments below. Y'all can comment anything. We can go out and get the stuff. <laughs> Another successful episode of Cooking with Omar, man. We gone, man.